Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Recon with your weekly update video for you guys. Uh, just for a friendly reminder, ladies and gentlemen, the stream is tomorrow at 9 a.m. I have to work this weekend again. Unfortunately, I know, right? When will I not have to work a weekend? I don't know when, but hey, we'll see. Um, so the stream will be tomorrow, Friday, 9 a.m. We'll be just talking mostly about the new girls, uh, the new, new outfit showcase, uh, doing my wishing foul and stuff like that. So bring your questions. If you have questions, bring them. Ask me. It's a great time to ask because we're not doing capsules and rolls or Lovely's Journey. It's a great time to just come and ask as many questions as possible. But hey, before we get into the rest of the video, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Your support's really appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. And with that being said, let's get into this weekly event. So we have a Mika skin. Um, we're coming up to Chinese New Year, so we're going to see a lot of more Chinese New Year themed skins. So be expecting that. Um, but I like it. Mika's not really useful for endgame like me, but if you're new to the game uh, and you're just starting out, Mika is your best girl to make the first LB5, so do that. If you have further questions on that, you can use my Discord, English, French, or Ch Chinese. Uh, I know mine in the English. I believe the French does too. I haven't really been in the Chinese as much lately, but um, they should have first carry guides, meaning your first girl to LB5, and Mika right now is the best one to build, so there you go. Nice skin to go with your first girl to make to LB5. All right, so the event time is going to be from the 7th to the 13th. So that's for me. That's the 6th through the 12th. So if you're day behind, remember you're day behind. Uh, the other words are going to be 100 elemental orbs, one advanced scroll, and five wishing fountain coins. First up, we're going to talk about Atlas Flare. This week, there's nothing really really important to grab if you are free to play light spender and you've been saving up your elementium, which converts into elemental orbs, which is a one for one swap. Where, if you're new, where you can ask me, where do you get Elementium? You get it from monthly events in the game. So you, t you click on the events tab, and it's have all the right top right side. It says monthly events. You get it from there. Okay. So I personally don't see anything useful here. Deception's not really useful right now at this point in the meta. So I would skip on that. Uh, if you're trying to do p PVE damage, you can grab the Cassie. That will help you with certain damage modes, uh, boosting damage. Not for every mode, but she can help with certain modes. So. You can grab her if you want, but you could probably just, you're supposed to save it for a good antique. Right now we don't see one, so I would just skip this. Uh, of course, the left side right here is the Elementium, and then the right side is Elemental Orbs. You can convert the Elementium to ele Elemental Orbs. Uh, and if you aren't getting anything from this, uh, at least grab Capsules and Rolls, whichever one you want. People say usually in Rolls. Uh, just depends on how much you have and what you're working with. All right, slot mo <clears throat> excuse me, slot points, eight rounds. This is great. I'm going to say this because Mika is in slots right now. So if you're new to the game or you've been hoarding them and you need Mika copies, this is great. Plus you get Wishing Fountain coins. You can do Wishing Fountain and get some enrolls to help you do to save up your enrolls to do around about at least four rounds of enrolls or six rounds. Uh, so grab those Mika copies you can. This is great. Uh, there's no reason not to use it. If you need your Mika copies, use it. Uh, and you can also use it to finish Lucky Bonus, which you need a, what, 1,000 tickets, which is like, what, 800 or some tickets converts into. So to do Lucky Bonus, you have to do normal slots and, a, and some other stuff. Make a six-star girl, do JV battles, uh, do super slot machine, which you get super slot draws from this right here. It's not that much. I think it's just 10 you have to do. So... Like I said, if you if you if you need Mika copies to finish Mika off, or you're just starting and you you need Mika copies, <clears throat> and you can finish Lucky Bonus, go ahead and do that. All right. So next up is Wishing Fountain. This is where we take the the Wishing Coins, we put it in there, and we get girls depending on your faction. Now, just a little side note: I don't know what's going to be in Angels and Demons. I don't know if the new girls are going to be there. We're going to have to wait and see. But we can see what we have in Monster right here: Robbie and Sydney. So probably you're hoping to get uh, Sydney if you do monsters, but do whatever you need. Um, as far as uh, the five girls, you'll pick five of them, and it'll just randomly pick. It says random, but we know it's not random. It is okay. So like I say, if you want a Sydney and you pick four girls, you might get 74th or 5th, meaning second to last or last. But there's a chance of getting it first. Not as much as we hope so. Uh, Angel House. It shows these five girls. I'm assuming that means uh, Gwen and Bridget aren't in there. Kind of sucks. So it is what it is. But we'll have to wait and see for sure. I don't know why you wouldn't put Gwen and Bridget in there right away. But 
Whatever. Whatever. Um, so when you wish on angels and demon fa uh, factions on the mount and the wishing fountains, if a 13% chance to receive double rewards, means it'll trigger double rewards. Or you receive a 2% chance to receive triple rewards. So that's the, ch the chance percentage of getting rewards that way. Because whenever you do do the wishing fountain, you get other rewards besides the girls and the shards. Um, and then every other faction, ghost, human, monster, fairy, we have a 30% chance to receive double and 10% chance to receive triple rewards. So if you're looking for more rewards than anything, you could do those houses to get that done. All right, so then we have collect 200 house shards of the responding house to merge them and summon one random girl from Wishing Fountain. So whenever you get, it's like a, uh, oh, it's 200 now? Oh, it's 200. It was 100 last time. I guess I changed it again. So, but there is a, where is it? Rainbow shard right here is 100. Uh, once we get 100 rainbow shards, you can click on that and you will get to pick the girl you want. Essentially, only one of them though. You get to pick one girl out of the, the pool that they have. Will they show the pool? No, they were not showing it, but it'll pull up a box and you get a pick from there. And of course, this is the rewards you get from attaining one girl from this event. So whenever we attain a girl, you get keeps going down. So you max out at 18, which is no child. So don't ask me how much it is. Probably a good amount of money, but it's probably not as much as some of the other antiques we've had in the past. That's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, this is Wishing Fountain Supply. If you want to get this, you can. There's probably other things better to buy than getting these to get it. You're probably just buying this to help get your Afterglow or the shards to upgrade pink antiques. Probably why people are going to get this, to tell you the truth. Uh, we have the Oathskin because we have Jonah's uh, Oathskin, which is nice. So if you do Oathskins in the game, there you go. There's a deal for two for 30. Your value packs, they're pretty much the same as last time. This time, instead of the capsules, we have Wishing Fountain Coins, so there's no capsules this time. So, we wear that. And special gift packs, we have... This one's not bad. With lead badges, it's okay. I mean, that's just an extra thing instead of getting just the, <coughs> the 70 here. And there's more. So, you're probably going to have this 70 before you grab the 70 up there. And then, of course, we have the special skins back with the Mika skin in there, so that's great. So grab that if you click skins. I know I will. I click the skins. So do that. If you are a light spender this week, you can either grab the lucky bonus, which is probably the best thing to grab first, if you can finish it. If you can't finish it, then just skip it. Uh, and then, of course, these four ninety nine deals would be your next best bet to grab if you cannot finish the lucky bonus if you're spending light on this game. So that's all I got for you guys this week. Short and sweet. Try to make it quick so you guys can just... Look over it. If you have further questions on this, please use the Discord. I don't care which one it is. Stay away from Facebook. Lots of trolls in there. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.